Back to your top story this morning. A child has died after a fire at an apartment complex. It happened about 1.30 this morning in Aurora. Nine News reporter John Glasgow gathering information from the scene. It's on East Evans Avenue, just off Chambers. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning, guys. We're learning a little bit more about this fire. We did speak with one of the neighbors here who tried their uh, to get some people out of this building, including the young child that passed away. Uh, the fire department was called here about 1.30 this morning, and from what we've heard, that this building went up very quickly. Uh, some of the neighbors that we talked to said that they heard uh, a, 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 a spark, something flash, and then within minutes, the building was up in flames. Now, looking at the building, it was very difficult to get uh, some of the people that were inside out. The fire department says that the stairwell went up in flames, so that made it a challenge to try to get the people out of the building. They had to use the ladders in order to bring them down. Uh, there were 31 people that were displaced in this fire. It, 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 fire department was able to get it under control fairly quickly. Um, we did manage to speak with that neighbor that was uh, on the same floor as the family that uh, was trying to get that child out of the building. Here's what he had to say about those frantic moments. And then I heard a lady screaming, my baby, my baby. So I ran up there and tried to grab the baby. And I got like where the front of the door is and then, you know, the flame just shot back and then all the black smoke and I couldn't go in there and try to get him because it was too bad. And uh, I just kind of just more like, you know, scared and you know what I mean? For the baby and stuff. I was just more, more concerned about the baby and trying to help the baby. Yeah, just devastating. And the fire department was able to take that child to the children's hospital. Uh, but as we've mentioned, um, the child did pass away. Uh, you can see here, though, that the, the ladders there that they used to get people out of here from the third floor. Uh, right now, the investigation's underway as to what started this fire. We've been here throughout the morning. Uh, they've been going in and out of this unit here on the first and second floor, uh, looking to see if there's something here that might give them some clues as to how this fire started and, and why it spread so fast. And that's the other question too. Uh, Aurora police are also on scene. We've been um, kept back here from the building. Uh, we've talked with a number of the people that are displaced. They say the Red Cross has been helping, trying to get them water, uh, blankets, and places to go from here. But also the property management company has been accommodating and offering the leasing office here to house these people for the time being. We're going to continue to stay here and uh, hopefully get some new information from either the Aurora Fire Department or Aurora Police as to where this investigation is. Uh, but for now, we'll send it back to the desk. But just a tragic and devastating story out here this morning. It really is. And my heart breaks for that man who, you know, obviously tried his best to go in there and potentially save someone. But that is just heartbreaking. John, thank you.